And after slamming the Bahamas, Nicole made its way to Florida, making it the first November hurricane to hit Florida in 37 years. Now it was only a category one, but following Hurricane Ian's devastation six weeks ago, it didn't take much for Nicole to devastate some coastal communities. Christian Bienvenidas has the latest from Florida. Devastation along Florida's Atlantic coast. It's going to change the landscape of our community. Hurricane Ian destroyed the seawalls and dunes in Daytona Beach Shores, leaving no protection from Nicole. The worst has come true. Director of Public Safety Mike Fowler says the worst of the property damage may be yet to come. We currently have approximately 20 high-rise properties that have been deemed to be unsafe. We may have structural collapse of a major, major building. Residents are wondering what the recovery will look like and if it will be enough. You do everything you can to be safe, but you can't control the hurricane. You can't control the wind. You can't control the water. Mark Sink moved into this building in January. Will I come back? I mean, are they going to condemn it? I'm not sure. It looks bad. This is the back part of Zing's condo. It used to be a deck. Right next door is this beach safety office, which is literally collapsing into the ocean. Pool decks, washers and dryers, bedding, sofas, all in the Atlantic Ocean. Sheriff's deputies went house to house, marking them with a red X after ensuring no residents were still inside. In less than 24 hours, we've evacuated over 600 folks from condos that have been declared structurally unsafe. Officials don't know when or if residents will be able to move back into their homes.